It often goes undetected. It causes brain injuries. It causes learning disabilities. Then EMT is talking about the harmful health impacts of lead, a toxic metal found in water, soil, and old paint. York and Leicester counties have some of the highest rates of childhood lead poisoning in the state. That's according to data from the Department of Health. A state law now requires schools to test for lead or public address why they refuse to test for it. Fox 43's Rachel Yankunas reveals what schools are finding and what they're doing to keep your children safe. Lead is especially dangerous to children. It can be found in lead-based paint, something many old homes have in York and Lancaster counties, but also in older buildings like schools that still have lead pipes carrying their water. Fox 43 reveals how schools are tackling this issue and why health officials say every child should be screened for lead. Clean it off. Clean it off. A little reassurance before a prick of the finger. One, two, three. A moment of discomfort. No, you're so big. You're so big. For a lifetime of reassurance. <laughs> to Alexandra Belgard, screening her two-year-old twin boys for lead is a no-brainer. She lives in an older Lancaster home, and her older daughter previously tested positive for high lead levels in her blood. Once the result came back where she got lead poisoning, that's when the whole reconstruction for the house started. Lancaster County has the fourth highest rate of childhood lead poisoning in the state. That's according to recent data from the Department of Health. Box 43 reveals many school districts are almost always finding traces of lead in their drinking water ever since the state recommended annual testing. Knowing that lead levels are high and it's a concern, I think it makes uh, logical sense for us to follow suit. Testing results from the 2019-2020 school year show 12 schools at the school district of Lancaster had unsafe levels of lead in the water. The district removed sinks and installed new water fountains. At Price Elementary School, they had to replace all copper lines and sink fixtures and install 100 filters throughout the school, costing $200,000. Looking at replacing all the plumbing in the building, which could cost hundreds of thousands, if not possibly a million dollars? Or do we look at just providing what would be maybe a five-year fix of adding filters on? So we went with the filter route, which we believe was a, a good solution at the time. It was cost effective again at the time until such time we can get to price in our renovation schedule and do a full overhaul. A main roadblock in lead abatement? Funding. Fox 43 reveals schools across the state are opting for short-term fixes. A review of the Department of Education's Lead in Drinking Water report for the 2020-2021 school year shows hundreds of schools detected high levels of the toxic metal in their water. No major renovations were done. Instead, schools turned off sinks and posted do not drink signs, replaced filters, or flushed systems until levels were safe. Even some city governments say state funding to remove lead-based paint from homes is dwindling. We've had some hiccups again with getting uh, contractors and also getting persons who qualify to participate with it. So we're chipping away at it slowly. Many families may not know they're at high risk for lead exposure. It is especially dangerous in children who absorb it more easily. It causes brain injuries. It causes learning disabilities. That's why lead screening at a young age is critical. Belgard's boys may not remember this moment, but it could be a life-saving one. A healthy baby is just more than enough. That's all I can say. <laughs> Thank you. If you think your child is at risk for lead exposure, talk with your doctor about lead screening. Also, schools that detect high levels of lead in their drinking water are required to post the results on their websites. Can't find them? Just head to fox43.com. We have a list of which schools recently found high levels of lead in their water and what they did to fix it. Fox 43 reveals issues that affect you and your family to keep you informed. Do you have a story you want us to investigate? Send me an email at fox43reveals at fox43.com.